This is such an easy question, but please, please, please actually take the time to, time to solve for x and plug it in for x and all of these choices because you don't want to be thinking conceptually about anything like this. This is where mistakes happen. Have numbers. Numbers are better. They tell us that AB is 2 times the length of BC. So you can do this math in your head, right? If AB is 10, that's 2 times 5, okay? So now that we know that x is 5, just plug in all the choices. Which one even makes sense? Well, 5 does not equal 2 times 10. That's 5 is not equal to 20. Those are different numbers. 2 times 5, that is equal to 10. So that seems good, but we can just double check very quickly. 10 times 5 is 50, not 2. And uh, in this case, we'd have 5 squared is equal to 10. And no, 5 squared is 25. So there's our proof. Now, maybe you could have gotten this just by looking at it, but you have to remember that algebra always always has a slightly higher chance of a mistake than arithmetic. So whenever you can pivot away from algebra towards arithmetic, you should take that opportunity. Here is a very clear case of that. It's an easy question. If you got it wrong, you just wasted 10 points for no good reason.